Okay, so I'm reviewing the MetaQuest Pro right now. Overall, as for the user interface, they've made some changes in the dock area. Now it looks more like the dock from iOS and iPadOS. They've also added something that is very appley. Uh, for example, the X button is red and the minimize button is yellow. That's exactly Apple. So they've done some amazing UX work. And it's kind of mix between Android and iPhone, iOS and uh, Android. I, re I really like the design of it. But when I try to get close to the UI, everything is uh, blurry, just like you get the UI in the Quest 2. When I switch back to VR mode, and I hope that it will improve, because I don't see the grainy background of the real world in the mixed reality pass-through mode, it's still shaky, I can see the edges of the menu in front of me is very pixelated by the rounded corners and it's also shaky, I don't know why the user interface is so shaky if the device is so powerful but maybe I'm just picky, too picky the quality of the resolution in VR when I disable the pass-through mode is very nice, I can see why the pancake lenses are very good it's not perfect, I can, see, I can still see pixels and sometimes I even notice pixels when I don't notice them in the Quest 2, so that's weird. But one thing that is very good in this um, pancake lenses is that I don't have God rays, so there is no weird light leaks because of the way the pancake lenses are built, unlike traditional lenses that we have in the Quest 2 and other devices. So that's, that's pretty unique to the Quest. The quality is good, but it's not perfect. In some ways, I'm really disappointed by the pass-through mode because the resolution is not good. As for FOV, I think it's not that bigger than the Quest 2 when it comes to the AR pass-through mode. Uh, and I can see how they actually managed to do it, which is quite unique because they've got only one color camera and I can see that it's not the best quality camera because everything is still grainy it's not the grainy as in the Quest 2 black and white grainy camera on pass-through mode but it's kind of disappointing because they, the way they overlay the single colored camera on their black and white tracking cameras is uh, pretty noticeable for example when I'm looking at my head I can see that there is a deviation of uh, how they actually grab the uh, colored footage and apply it on the black and white footage so there is uh, some distortion, a pretty noticeable distortion the same goes for when I move my hand uh, against the background of the room I can see the same distortions with that we have in the Quest uh, 2 it's only good on the bottom portion of the camera of the frame that I see but it's not perfect so that's, that's to be expected but I'm very disappointed by the resolution of the color pass-through, it's not, it's not good. That's not something that I would expect after the PR meta did, but eventually this quest is very good for creators, so I guess that it's better to do it with color pass-through in this situation, uh, to build mixed reality applications right now, because that's the only tool we have. The only difference from the quest 2 is that we can actually demo this experiences in full color rather than in black and white which is nice for us creators to demo our mixed reality and AR applications especially for the future upcoming AR glasses by Meta, by Apple, by Microsoft yeah, you name it because right now this is the only tool that is quite affordable for us to create mixed reality and AR applications for the upcoming uh, Spatial computing revolution. $1,500 is not that much uh, for studios and companies to pay. It's not heavy on my face, although it's still heavy on my uh, forehead, but the weight distribution is very good because the battery is on the back of the device, so it's not heavy as Quest 2. It kind of, kind of reminds me HoloLens not, not just by how it looks like, but also by how it feels like, so that's nice.
and overall it's a great product very pro in the sense of um, the materials and how the controllers are built basically i'm really satisfied with the materials they choose and all the things that you've seen in other reviews such as the pressure sensitivity of the, on the controller itself the way it actually knows where your fingers are this is pretty nice as i can see there is only sensors on pa buttons there is no on the oculus button and also there is no near field sensitivity on the grip button but there is one on the trigger button so it knows where is my finger even if i'm not touching it if i come close to the trigger button it knows where my finger is so that's nice i really like the haptic feedback on the controllers it's very accurate it's better way better than the quest 2 controllers okay so now i'm trying shapes xr which is which is my favorite 3d and special ux design tool and actually it's far better than on the quest 2 because when i switch to the pass through ar pass through mode that's you can see the potential of how can designers design ar and mixed reality applications while using the metaquest pro because it gives you the real sensation of how designers of the future will actually create experiences applications and even games in ar for ar because you don't have to actually use your computer for you know um do this kind of things anymore maybe you will prepare 3d assets in blender and then code in um, unity but eventually you can create the prototypes and the 90 percent of what you need in um with these glasses while you are while you are in ar and designing for ar within ar so that's that gives me the hope that as more and more designers will try this and even developers because developers all obviously can create some sort of wireframes for their apps and then test it even if it if it, they don't know how to design but especially for designers this is a very powerful tool seeing your applications in the mid-air just like i'm doing right now and in full color that gives you some glimpses glimpses into the future how we will actually design and create um, content for the metaverse now i can see that if i am let's say 30 centimeters uh, far away from the UI. The user interface uh, is kind of shaky and blur, but if I get close, if I bring my head close to the holograms, it's very sharp. So this is something that I think it's not that sharp on my Quest 2 when I try it at home, but maybe I'm just biased against the Quest 2 now because it's in black and white. And here I can see, I get to see the holograms in color over the real virtual holograms in color over my reality in color which I don't have in my quest 2 because the reality is black and white as I've mentioned so that's for the shapes XR and great implementation for this mixed reality device and you can already see the future and where the industry of UX should go and will go now the FOV is not bigger than the Quest 2 but eventually it's bigger than Microsoft HoloLens 2 and it's bigger and wider than the Magic Leap 2 which I tried almost a year ago when it was in beta. So I kind of like the mixed reality vision because right now it brings us mixed reality pass-through rather than see-through which we have in real AR devices such as the HoloLens but eventually MetaQuest Pro cheaper than HoloLens which goes $3,000 to $4,000 uh, same goes for Magic Leap which is more expensive so right now we have wider field of view with MetaQuest Pro and better FOV than other real see-through AR devices so I'm really satisfied with this one although yeah the background is grainy the reality uh, seems 
the pass through all seems grainy but you have to remember that uh, when you focus on the holograms the reality doesn't look that grainy anymore so i kind of like it i have to say thanks to my friends at frontline io and lls who are actually as far as i know the first company in israel that actually managed to get the quest pro as for now i know some other friends in the industry in the xr industry in the metaverse industry that are actually waiting for their quest pro to arrive uh, and even meta actually told me that uh, they plan to uh, bring it as fast as possible and uh, maybe even invite a few of us uh, the xr pioneers in israel to try it but as for now as far as far as i know uh, i'm among the first israelis to review this one and uh, obviously thanks for uh, my friend itzhak pichadze and yoni weinberg here at Frontline I.O.